Jose, I said, Dad, I can't be that. I don't have a big heart like you do. He says, yes, you do, yes, you do. And I'm like, Dad, it's hard for me. And I was just having struggles. And he he said, you know, he, he was talking about just forgiving and loving people no matter what, you know, because we're called to be like, like Christ. And, and he said, he goes, Jesus had 12 people, and he loved them no matter what, even though he knew that one of them was Judas. He didn't make Judas go off to the side. He didn't. He just, he loved and accepted because that's what it's about, like just forgiving and loving over and over and over and over again. And my mom always would tell me, as you know, you, you love and you forgive when you do it even more so after you've already been offended, after the offense already happened. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do that. But through their examples, I've learned to do that, no matter what. And Chris even said, he's like, how do you do it, Felicity? And I said, I don't know. And he had a really, really rough life. I mean, I had my mom and dad and, and everybody. And he said, he tells me one day, I feel like your life was harder than mine. And I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, how do you handle people coming in and going and coming in and going? And that's what me and Joseph grew up with. But we just learned. We learned how to love no matter what. And no matter what we saw, no matter what we seen. Or, and I mean, and we've, we've stayed pretty strong and grounded and... and it's because of the exampleship of, of my parents, of my pastors. So I just want to thank you guys for just being an example of what, of what a, a true Christian is. It's not about religion, but it's just all about your relationship with God. And thank you guys for always keeping and maintaining a strong relationship with God. Wow.